Yo, what's going on everybody, man? It's your boy Pryoxys and I'm back with another one. And I'm gonna be completely honest, man. This video here is a fucking banger. Now we have the new updated Charles Dubronx Oliveira. I'm doing this intro because as I was recording, guys, I did do an intro, but things happened within the video that warranted me to let you guys know what's going on, man. So I have a match where I go into ranked and something happens and the actual match between me and my opponent turns into a best of three, all right? Very good match, very good matchups, and you guys are going to learn a lot. Also, let me get you guys' opinions on Charles Dubronx Oliveira, new character model. Put it in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you haven't chat also, everybody like up, man. Let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes. Let's see if we can do it, all right? But hey, enjoy the video, guys. And I'm playing Trey. Trey is definitely not a Division Nine player. I can tell you that right now. As you see, he had, what was it, nine wins on me? So it's going to be a fun match. And I love that I'm getting a match like this, even in the lower ranked divisions, because a new season has started. So here we go, man. Trey Ultra. He's using Justin Gaethje. I'm the new improved Charles Dubronx. Now, I'm not sure if he got a update as far as stats. If he did, somebody put that in the comment section. I'll be sure to pin your message, all right? Appreciate you. Okay, he's a little bit active early, as you can see here. Utilizing the low kicks. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Now, why he's throwing these strike? Oh. Hey, I can't be mad at that. I was impatient. That was definitely my fault. Definitely my fault. It's a three-round fight, too. So, I got to be careful. Let's see if he spin a hill. Mm. Okay. Got to be careful for the low kicks. But it's not a five-round fight, and that's a big problem with this fight right here. There we go. Body, body. He gets out of the way. We're going to switch kick. We miss here. Maybe a low kick is coming. There we go. Oh, we rock him here. Switch kick. We're going to try to make the fight hard for him. Ooh. I don't know. He tried to hit me with the pro combo, huh? He tried to hit me with the... Oh, no, no, I didn't. Sleep. Sleep. I can tell you what happened here, honestly. I played it stupid. I didn't think he was going to jump on me. I didn't click no buttons to try to stop him from jumping on me. And that's why I got knocked out here. Uh, Well, I could have obviously defended the ground and pound, but also started on the feet with getting rocked when he evaded my strike. But... I didn't think he was going to jump on me, so I didn't even click the up kick to try to not let him jump on me. But, hey, it is what it is, man. This happens. What sucks is I've been trying to get lightweight for the past. I've been trying to get lightweight for the past, like, 10 fights. I kid you not. I've been back, and I actually got banned from rank for uh, 30 minutes. Because I couldn't get a rank match, bro. Literally. I couldn't get a rank match, so I got banned from rank because I backed out of too many uh too many matches. Um basically in the fighter select screen. If you do, if you didn't know you get banned from rank for 30 minutes, man. And then I hopped on here and it's like my third time and then I get knocked out of two minutes and eleven seconds. But do I care? No. Because I know the mistakes that I made, I wouldn't make these mistakes again. And we're gonna go to move on to the next fight, alright? But hey. Hope you guys enjoyed this one here. If you did, you know what to do, all right? Let's get it. All right, guys, so check this out. I actually messaged him. Now, it isn't that I was salty about the loss because I was posting it either way. I love to post when I get my ass whooped. That way you guys know I'm not indestructible and I come out here and I get whooped too. But I wanted to see if he wanted to play again. That way I can adjust. And let's see how I do in the second match. And this first fight is going to be three rounds. Well, technically, this is the second. He's up in the series. I asked for the best of three. He's up in the series right now to 1-0. Um, and then this match, if I win, it'll be 1-1. One, one. The third match, we'll put it on five rounds, all right? So this will be three. The next one will be five if I win. If I lose, well, I get to post two losses. So, and guess what? It is what it is. So here we go, Justin Gaethje. He immediately starts off with the low kicks. We make him miss that one. We're going to play a little bit more careful. And not so aggressive and not so reckless. And honestly, what I'm going to do against him is I'm going to kick his leg back. 
because he's going to 100% kick my legs. Nice. Kick his leg. I know 100% he's going to kick mine. So to get some leg, uh, some leg damage on him as well, I'm going to kick his. There we go. Now we got him thinking high. We go low. It's. I'm actually happy we didn't. Uh, we didn't um, land that because he would have checked it and it would have took a lot of damage. Nice head movement. I'm noticing that he likes to throw while he has a lot of head health missing. There we go. Bank that. Now you see the hands are low. But I'm not going to get baited by his hands being low because his, uh, well, his hands wasn't low last time. But he evaded. See how he evaded like that? He got out of the way. So I'm going to be very careful with my shot selection, what I do here. Nice overhand, bro. Okay. Okay. Nice low kick. Boom. And you can see I'm kind of chopping his leg. Go up top. Go up top with another hook. Fake up top. Go down low. There we go. That was a nice setup. We give him the switch stances. And because we got him to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, he takes it to the ground. Because we got him to switch stances, though, we're going to be good. Because if he throws that rear low kick, it's going to be the leg that I've been chopping up. So. There we go. We get the. Rock here, we're gonna kick the leg, we're gonna kick the leg again. I'm glad that we did miss because he would have checked it. Now, if he throws that rear leg and he get, starts getting them checked, we're gonna be A1. We rock him here, go to the body, go up top, go back to the leg, and we're gonna watch him, see what he do. The height, the block is high. Now, we, we do know he ducked a high kick last time, so if we do throw a high kick, it has to be in combination. Something like a jab followed by a high kick like that. But you can also notice that we took him taking away one of his best weapons, which is the low kick. Because if he throws that rear leg, and I do check it, he does throw it there. We're going to be able to do, uh, you know, some good damage on that leg. And also, nice. Also, we're already chopping his lead leg. So, with that being said, if he does switch, like I said before. Shoot the takedown, we're gonna deny that one. And you can see he's using a lot of stamina. He shot the takedown the end of the round, so we took a lot of stamina hit on that one right there. Respect, respect for sure. Respect to this guy for even accepting this fucking rematch, bro. For real, for real. Respects to him. But hey, before we do jump into the next round, guys, I'm going to run a quick add in. If you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. All right? So here you go. All right, here we go. Jumping into round two. And, uh, I know a lot of you guys want to see some groundwork with Charles Dubronx, but I'm kind of in a more so striking mood. Like I said, I will go for a submission, but I think I'll probably only go for one if it's like a finish the fight because personally, I want to strike. I want to outstrike Justin Gaethje, kind of like Oliveira was doing in the fight and, you know, in the actual fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. He did get dropped, but he was definitely doing work. I mean, he rocked Justin Gaethje with the first punch that he threw Well, he landed. Okay. We always kick the leg. And we like I said, we've taken away Justin Gaethje, one of his best tools in his low kicks, with just kicking his leg. Because now if he switches again, as I said before, and I don't want to sound like a tape recorder, but I really want you guys to understand what I've done to negate his offense. Okay. Now, how the fight is playing out right now. We don't even have to go crazy like with throwing strikes because he doesn't have the best stamina. I didn't try to do that. Oh, I didn't try to do that. He doesn't have the best stamina to even, um, you know, go crazy as far as being aggressive because he's sitting what? I'd say that's somewhere close to like 45% of his stamina. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more. But about 45% of his stamina is missing, and he's not going to be able to. There we go. There we go. Got to kick the leg. Crane kick knockout. I threw it there because I had to think about the leg. Went low. Went back high. 
Hey, GG's, man. Hey, for sure. Respect, for sure, respect. But, hey, now that we done that one, guys, we have to do the third match, which will be a five-round fight. And I'm wondering how he's going to adjust to the to the uh, next fight. And this is what I this is what I love, bro. This is the content that I love. You know, I love this type of content, these type of fights, showing that you can, you know, you make mistakes. You make one mistake in this game, and you get punished. I made one mistake throwing that crane kick last time. He lunged out the way, rocked me, dropped me, jumped on me, finished me. But this time we played it more slow, no more methodical. And, you know, we did what we needed to do to get the win. We utilized our low kicks. We negated him from throwing the low kicks. Because if we didn't do that and all I did was box him. And this is something that I personally need to start doing more. Um, We're going to change these settings. Put it on five rounds. There we go. Because personally, I would do this too, guys. I'll let somebody kick my leg for free and not kick them back in. That's honestly something that Marshall has said. And you can quote me and send it to him, quote me and ask him. He said he said it himself about kicking his opponent's legs um, if they're kicking yours. But uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I'm not sure if he's using Justin Gaethje again. I mean, if he even if he switches fighters, I'm okay with that. I'm ready up, ready to go. Whoever he goes with, man, we're going to ready up. He's going back with the Gaethje pick. So the question is, how does he play out this fight here? What does he do in this fight differently that will, you know, change the results versus the last match? We know last one he was throwing a lot of low kicks. We switched it up. We started kicking his legs now. Now we got him to switch stances, and he switched back. But we started kicking his legs again, dropped him, dropped him up top, kicked his leg, got a rock, and then boom, crank kick, flash KO. But what is he going to do in this one? Let's observe and adjust. All right. Hands immediately go low because he's thinking low kick. And same thing, right? Same thing. He's kicking my leg again, but um, this time I'm going to be careful with kicking his leg back because you can already tell that he's ready to uh, he's ready to <clears throat> check. Right? Front kick. Nice overhand. There we go. There we go. That was nice. That was nice. Okay, he's throwing power shots. We're going to back out. Um, Just recover our head health. Play it real defensive. We eat a low kick for that. That was a nice air movement. I'll kick his leg if I feel like it's needed. But right now, look at the head damage. Woo. Okay. Switch kick. And you can see him using a good amount of stamina with his strikes. All right. Run off to the body. Push him down. We get, we're going to get the opportunity to throw two knees. I'm going to throw them both to the body. Oh, we dropped him because he tried to throw a car wheel. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, the second one, the hook didn't land. Nice low kick. All right, we're getting some good head health. Oh, he's trading in the pocket. He's trading in the pocket, and he has lower head health than me. Oh, he's so lucky that hook didn't. It didn't go through. It didn't connect because he uh he had good distance management because he leaned into it. There goes a mistake he's made again. We're going to go lead hook to the body, followed by the switch. Cross to the body. We're going to look to evade the uppercuts. Okay. Try to go high kick. He evades it. <laughs> Question mark kick again. He got to be careful with those. Body, body. He evades. Okay. Yeah, I knew the low kick was coming. Okay. Nice. Let's fake that. Boom, boom. Ooh, nice. All right. That's going to be the end of that round. Respect, respect, respect. All respect, man. 
All respects to my opponent here, bro. For sure, for sure. Here we go. Next round, you can see I'm full stamina. Got a little leg health damage, but you can see his stamina there is not looking good. Nice uppercut, bro. Okay. Oh. All right. So in this situation right here, um, I don't personally think it's smart to match the low kick damage because if he does check my rear leg kick, I have to switch stances. Right now, my advantage, my best case to win is remember, it's a five round fight. I can take it slow and take this guy all the way to five if needed be. I can just small pressure, small damage to the body. There we go. Go back up to the body. I mean, down to the body, technically. Okay. Low kick. Nope. Nice. And if if need it be, I can just switch stances. Like, even though, I, you know, I take a bit of a power hurt and stuff like that. Look at the stamina difference between me and Justin Gaethje or Trey Ultra in this situation. There you go. Cartwheel. All right. Push him back with the front kick. There we go. Up to the body. He evades. Now, like I said, we're at the point of the fight where it's going to be hard for him to even do anything because he has, you know, stamina missing. Nice combination. Boom. That's going to land heavy. He has less than 50% of his stamina. This is a three-round fight, and I thought it was supposed to be five. I put the setting on five, but I don't know why it didn't go to five, but it's okay. I don't think he would want this to go five, personally. <laughs> I don't think so. Not with the stamina he has now. I don't think wanting it to go five is a smart thing. Two body shots. Up top, down low. Boom. Keep the take down here. We're going to go two knees to the body. Body. Oh, nice. We're going to push him back. Up top, back down to the body. Ooh, I thought I would catch him with that, honestly. I thought I would catch him with that. Now we got him with the gas animation. We got him with the gas animation. Nice. Oh, he's gas, gas. <laughs> he threw a flying in and caught me. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Respect for sure. Respect. Respect, respect, respect. All respect, bro. Because as I said before, man, this dude, he didn't have to fight me again. He didn't have to give me this, re this best of three. He could have took that win and set it off into the sunlight. But, you know, respect to him for giving me the rematch. But this fight just shows you, man. Sometimes you need that you need that rank loss to open, you know, to show you you're not indestructible. To show you, you always need to be careful and not, uh, and respect your opponents. Good night. I knew that was it. I've been going to the body so much, setting him up, so I knew the, the flying knee was going to be it. Hey, respect. He said, phew. <laughs> hey, respect, bro. Good fight. Respect. GG's to him, man. We got it done, though. We got it done. And uh, in a pretty good fashion. Flying knee fashion. Uh, even caught the knockout. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm satisfied here, man. GG's to uh, Trey Ultra, man. Um, again, Show him no hate in the comment section. The section that's the second I see anybody show him hate, just know you won't be able to comment on this channel again. Or if you do comment, nobody will see it because you've been hidden from the channel. I promise. We don't do the hate over here, man. We show love unless you know it is warranted, respectfully. All right, but hey, I'm gonna head out from here, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, it'll mean the world to me. If you guys go ahead and hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, subscribe up. And also, everyone out there, man, turn the notifications so you get notified whenever I go live. 
or when I upload videos like this one, man. I drop bangers basically every video. No cap. Love you guys. Stay up. Stay blessed. Keep moving forward. See ya.